Hey programmers, um, before we go any further with another thing, I want us to clean up our program a little bit. All these little text box here, like um, for instance, data text box string, um, insert out text box, and all these. I want us to create some static variables in the top of the program for them, and you know, we'll we'll do data string text box in this one, and then you guys can go on your own and do the rest, because otherwise it would take this film too long to do. So, and I'm going to do these also. Um, I am. And so this will just kind of clean it up. And if you want to leave yours like this, that is okay. There is nothing wrong with it. Um, you know, there might be some programming snobs out there that think it's poor program, but I don't care. You know, if it works, use it. But anyway, how you do a static variable is like right up here at the top. And I, I've done this in other programs, but I hadn't done it in this one yet, so I hope it works. Um, we're going to create us a variable called static um, string. And then we're gonna. I'm gonna call that data string. A S T R N G. And I'm gonna say equals. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this guy here that I put in that text box, and I'm gonna copy it. And I'm gonna paste it up here, and that's gonna be our data string. Okay, and what I'm going to do is, and how you can get this to work, you can either do a um, search and replace, which I've not done this on this. I do it in Vi and other stuff all the time. So let's uh, let's see if this will work for us. Quick replace. We'll see if that works. We're going to say find what uh, data text box one dot t e x t we're going to replace with data string. Um, let's say, I'm going to say replace all. I can just undo. Seven occurrences. Okay. Now this first dude here, we can just delete it out. We don't need it anymore. We've got it up there in the static. And um, another way to do this, if you don't want to do that, if you're kind of scared to do that, you can just try to compile it. Um, you delete this dude off the front of the screen and then he won't compile and it'll tell you all the line numbers that he's at and you can do it that way the only thing is then you have to type everything um, hmm let's see. I'm gonna have to fix my uh, editor up here he's got this start without debugging I guess that doesn't hurt anything let's go back to the source code uh, hey and um, let's uh, see if it'll run for us. All righty. I'm going to enter my number, see if I get any data for. Okay. The first, so um, our, our stuff is working. Um, anyway, I'm going to exit out of this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it for the rest of these variables, too. And you can do that on yours if you want to. And if you don't, leave it. That's up to you. It's your program. You can do what you want. You're the programmer. And um, But I'm, I'm going to do mine that way. So anyway, um, I'll see you next time when we get this all cleaned up. Bye.